I feel like we've done this before. I feel like feel we've like done, we've this, done before. this before. Reboot from Asteroid G. You're listening to Not So Live from Asteroid G. I'm Mike Finkelstein. With me, as always, is at least one of member of the current hosting cast. Queen Bee. Yes. We are here today to do yet another new feature for our recurring podcast. We are going to be talking about Hollywood reboots. Uh, Specifically, we are going to treat this like a rebooting session where we take a topic and we are going to try and reboot it. Whether or not we've actually seen enough of it to really care about the topic does not matter because that's not how Hollywood works. (laughs) Not at all. (laughs) I mean, sometimes it works out great. Westworld, the new TV show, has barely anything to do with the original movie besides robots in a West place and chaos happens. But, like, the details, completely different. Sometimes Hollywood gets it right. Other times they come up with, like, um, Starsky and Hutch, which had, like, nothing to do with the original. Was, <laughs> 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 so we were trying to talk about uh-huh. what would be a good reboot to reboot. Re- <laughs> You know, the re- besides the show reboot, <laughs> besides the reboot, <laughs> we're gonna talk about a show to reboot, which would be, I think we 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 were thinking mysteries, mysteries work. Um, you so had a specific one in mind, though. I think. I think murder. She wrote that's old enough that is, is Angela Lansbury still alive? She is still alive. Wow, she's, so she could cameo on the show as a murder suspect. I think she's in her nineties now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. She's up there with Betty White just feeding on the rest of Hollywood like <laughs> vampires. And Keith Richards, yeah. yes. Cuz cuz she was basically a retired mystery writer on that show in the 80s, just like Betty White was one of four women living together retirees. And those shows are like 40 fucking years old at this point. They were old people, quote unquote, back 40 years ago and they're still alive. Well, Betty White's still alive. <laughs> the other three, I think, have died. She ate the other three, I think, is what it was. And she'll be coming for Angela Lansbury maybe, soon. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> don't star with her, Angela. Don't, go, don't do it. Don't, don't do, do it. it. I don't actually think they've... I don't think there's like six degrees of separation either. I don't think that they've actually ever been in a show together. I don't know. We'd have to do some research. Anyway, so... Um, okay, so the first reboot is Angela Lansbury <laughs> and Betty White go around the country writing murder mysteries, but secretly they're senior vampires. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, I think I've seen this movie. <laughs> they get younger throughout the series. Oh my yeah. God, that would be fantastic. Oh. Uh, um, but I'm, I'm already okay. in for that show. Yeah. So anyway, so Murder, <laughs> She Wrote. So if we were going to reboot it now, who uh-huh. would we put as the retired uh, Does it have to be? Writer? No, but you see, it's it's Hollywood reboot. So obviously we have to take the core kernel of what works and ditch everything that doesn't. And honestly, old people just don't sell. So okay. we're going to have to pick someone young and hot who writes a murder blog on the internet and then runs a podcast. So Karen Gillian. <laughs> I would watch that. I, know I was would. actually thinking, um, <laughs> God, who was the girl that they were wanting for Squirrel Girl, whose name I can never remember? Anna Kendrick. There you go. She's even better. I'd yes, love that. That would be great. You could base her off the character from her most recent movie, which was... Mr. Wrong? Or was there something newer? No, it, it is Mr. Right. That was the movie. Yeah, Mr. Wrong was one from the 80s where they built a guy. Or, yes. or that, was, that, that was a different... There was a lot of terrible movies like this. Making so, Mr. Right's one I'm thinking of. Th- yes. Still terrible. Still terrible. <laughs> something about deception... I'll have to look it up. Transformers 5? No, <laughs> that's Decepticons. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so Betty White in the Transformers. That would be amazing. Can we have that happen? <laughs> but Anna Kendrick. Okay, okay, so she was in a movie with uh, Ryan Reynolds' wife, Blake Lively. Oh, that one. Yeah, I remember what it was. The Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I can't remember the name can't of it. I can't remember but the name of the movie. It was almost a murder mystery, but yes. kind of wasn't. And it's kind of weird. And it was okay. Her playing that character that mm-hmm. she played in that movie that would be very That kind of neurotic. Good. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Neurotic, neurotic writer. Video blogger. It'd be perfect for her. Who was also kind of a mystery, mystery solver. That was her whole point, is uh-huh. that that's what her career ends up being in the end of that movie. Uh-huh. Sorry, spoilers. Anyway. I, mean, I always thought deep down while Angela Lansbury like, was solving the crimes on her show, secretly she was actually committing them and just framing the people for it now that would be an interesting thought to actually <laughs> murder, that show murder she wrote, wrote isn't just that she's documenting <laughs> she's writing, writing the it. mysteries and then pinning them on people that'd be great <laughs> that's kind of like dexter <laughs> throwing dexter in there it, that's a very dexter thing yeah. except he's not actually killing the people well okay. he was killed he was he killing was the bad killing guys the people. he, he was, was killing, killing the people guys. who were killing people so it'd it be like, kind of like a dexter uh-huh. except 
not because he wasn't pinning the murders on anyone. No, no. He was just getting rid of the bodies and dumping them in the ocean in pieces. Right. Which, I mean, if you've got bodies, that's what you do with it's them. It's much more fun to pin a murder on someone. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. see. I see. I like it. <laughs> and she never gets caught. <laughs> Okay. I mean, it could open. It could be a sequel series, and it could open with her and Angela Lansbury, and she could pin the murder on Angela Lansbury, and then blog about it. <laughs> there you go. Yes, I like it. I like it. Murder she wrote has a nice quote, new contention. I like it. I like it. <laughs> okay, Golden Girls. Okay. Okay. So if we were to redo the Golden Girls, I mean, old people don't sell. So what do we do? <laughs> So it's just rich, young people living in Orange County? Oh, so 90210? Yeah. They've already reboot that, and it sucks. Yeah, they, they already cancel it or something? They've already I canceled it. They've also have Dynasty, which is also the, kind of the same thing. Boring. I mean, I mean they rebooted 90210 twice. It, yeah, three times now. Yeah. Yeah. It's, and, it's up to and three different versions. And a kind of, I, I don't know, a, I don't know what they call it. It's a... Uh, it's a nouveau version of Beverly. Meta. Yeah, meta. Thank meta. you. It's very, very meta. meta. Um, and that was boring, too. Although yeah. it was nice to see what everybody's doing. Yeah. Except for the one guy who died this year. Right. That's Sorry. It. Bye, Luke. <laughs> I, I, liked him as, I liked him as Pike and Buffy. Uh, I did like yeah. him as Pike and he Buffy. He was great. Yeah, he was great. <laughs> did he play Pike and Buffy for both the TV and the... Pike doesn't show up in the TV show. I thought he showed he up in one episode. He doesn't show up in the TV show. Nope. You sure? Yes. Okay. I'm positive. Because I was rooting for him to show up the whole time, and they basically excised Pike from everything. But they t- she sad. talks about him, though. She talks about Mitt Narek, the uh, or Merrick, the uh, watcher, and he actually has a small cameo in one episode that flashes back to when she was first called. Pike is nowhere to be found at all. He's like, it doesn't exist in that version of continuity. Hmm. I know. I'm very disappointed. Very I don't disappointed. even think he shows up in the, the comic books that are attached to it. There's no reference to him whatsoever. Oh, that's sad. Anyway... What are we talking about? Golden Girls. Golden Girls. I think you actually have to go with older people on that one. Well, if you did older people, maybe instead of older gr- girls, maybe guys? Golden, it's golden guys? guys? No, I think it's Golden Girls, but they run a detective agency. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, they try to have them run a hotel, which was what, Golden Palace after the one... I don't know. I stopped watching after season two. I didn't even watch season one. So... <laughs> And I know there was a show called Empty Nest that spun off of it. I also didn't watch. There was a lot that, from that era that I did not care about. I think at that period in time when that popu- when that show was popular, it was really trying to allow boomers to have something to watch on TV. They don't need it. But I think that's what it was for. Yeah, I know. But they then have gun they, smoke. They don't need anything else. And now they've made like pops out of them. Like you can get mm-hmm. a Blanche pop and a... That doesn't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> and you Blanche get a, is what you do when something tastes bad. I know, but her, her name was Blanche Dubois. So, and then you Ew, had Rose. Russell Sprouts and liver. No. <laughs> that's that's the Blanche right and then there. You had Rose. I don't See, remember Rose's last name. And then you had S- Rose would just be like something strawberryish. I would S- think Sylvia. Sylvia, yes. That's that, that's a that's I think it's a straight Coke right there. Okay. Yeah. No, I don't know. I'm, are, are I'm making we talking these things up. Alcoholic drinks. T- sure. Okay. So so <laughs> the but, so girls. Rose is obviously a white Russian. And <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I would think that Rose would probably be like a. Uh, no, no, I didn't watch this show. Shirley Temple kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. With with spiked or just straight? Oh, definitely spiked. Okay. A little bit yeah. of rum. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, go- the Golden Girls Detective Agency. <laughs> That could go. Mm-hmm. Uh, who would we? Who would we cast? Older ladies. Um, damn it, the award-winning actress who was most recently in like the couple Fast and Furious movies as the mother of Jason Statham. Name is failing me because I'm not uh, Helen Mirren. Thank you. Yes, she'd be the leader. She'd be amazing. Well, she would be the leader of the four. There would be a Charlie-type character played by Betty White who would guide them all. Okay. Yes. Great. <laughs> did you actually watch the new Charlie's Angels? No, I did not. It, it actually wasn't bad. Okay. Compared to a full throttle, Charlie's Angels the full throttle. Sequel. Yeah, yeah, the sequel. Um, it was actually pretty good. So if they were going to do a rebut, and it it explains a whole lot of the plot holes from other movies. That's fair. So because they're, I think they're all technically supposed to be in the same continuity. Charlie's Angels, despite having new teams showing up every few years, technically has never had a reboot. Technically, technically, it has never not. has had a reboot, and this last movie explains why. Yep. See, yeah, so, I think that's interesting. That the fact that this is the most tightly plotted continuity we have at this point. Mm-hmm. So, if we were going to reboot the Golden Girls, I, I, I like said, Detective Agency. Just, I just said I like that. 
Yeah. I like. I or they're like, just, they're like a, uh, a, a team of hot, a trained assassins. Well, that's even better. <laughs> Nobody would suspect them. So you'd have, definitely have to have Helen Mirren. Yeah. Oh, and would, she would pull that part off. Oh, she she, she did it in red. red. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, And then you also have um, Judy, Judy Dench. Dame Judy Dench. She Although I don't amazing. think she does a lot of acting where doesn't she have a problem with her eyes at this point? She does, but she could pull it off. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. 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 yeah definitely. Yeah. I that. So it's just all British actresses. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, older, older American actresses, Canadian actresses, who would you pull? I mean... I can't think of a lot. I think of Jane, Dame like, Judy Dench and who, Helen Mirren. Those are my two. <laughs> <laughs> now, we have some older women who aren't necessarily old, old. You could also pull in, like, Sofia Vergara or for the comedy bit. Well, I mean... Bringing the comedy for the, it. The, the, it was a sitcom, after all. So. Sylvia, Sylvia was a the mother of Rose or whoever. I didn't watch the show. Yes, she was the mo- not of Rose. She was the mother of B. Arthur's character. Whatever her name was, I don't remember. Let's go with Ethel. Anyway, so <laughs> okay, so so yes, yeah, she was the mother. So I mean, you could actually you could do a couple of older golden golden girls, and then have a couple of younger like their daughters on oh, the show yeah, as well. Okay. Yeah, so that younger that assassins, younger assassins, the, the mentored. They they work to, they they work as a team. Yes. Yes. In pairs. I mean, you could have older women who aren't necessarily having the white hair yet. Like mm-hmm. you have, um, oh, who's married to uh, Michael Douglas? What's her name? Catherine Zeta-Jones. Yes, Catherine Zeta-Jones. She's getting up towards the right age. Um, she was also in Reds. Good movie. Yeah. Uh, Reds 2, actually. Um, I think it's just singular, not plural. Is it Red 2? Yeah, it's Red. Okay. Uh, Reds is a different show. I think that's with communists. <laughs> Whatever. Um, and then if we wanted to put some spice on it, have you guys, have you seen this Expanse? I think yeah, you're oh, the one who turned the us Expanse. on Expanse, yeah, right? Yeah. So the one who plays... Why are we talking about the Expanse? God right? damn it. Maybe later. Um, but the woman who, the Indian woman, she would be great. The one who oh, plays yeah. the, the, the president prime, or governor or prime, whatever her name is. Secretary General, I yes. think is what the, yeah, because it's the UN. She is would the, be amazing. Yeah. And it would put color in there. You know how we like to put color into things. So... I mean, we already have Helen Mirren and Judy, Jane, Dame Judy Dench. Yeah, they're Her, pretty pale she, and white and British. Right, exactly. Yeah, we need we need color. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, I like that. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Good group. Yeah. Uh, there's a uh, Cosby's. Uh, Bill Cosby's wife, Felicia Rashad. Yes, Felicia wow. Where Rashad. did I come up with that name from? She's she could be a good one too. She's she would older be, and, and she could get the taint of Bill Cosby off of her at this point. Exactly. Having starred in two different shows with him. Yes. Ugh. Yeah. Just yeah. go that way. Yeah. That would be good. <laughs> okay. So then the final one that you suggested, since we need to fill for time here, Mash. You wanted Mash. to reboot Mash. Now, if we're going to do a proper reboot and still go with characters and not do it like a period piece, so. Not Vietnam. Right. We got to pick a war that's happened closer and not go too far back. So not civil war. So <laughs> A little bit closer than that. <laughs> just a little. Just a little. <laughs> I mean, we do have it Desert was Korea. Storm. It was Korea was what MASH was for, not yes. Vietnam. So Korea. Desert Storm or we don't have a lot of good wars anymore. Well, we, we, so first thing we need to do is we need to have the government put on a really good war. <laughs> That could be coming very soon. Who knows? <laughs> and then, <laughs> I mean, if you want to go a little too close to home and a little too uh, too soon, you go with Syria. Right. Because that's kind of still raging right yes, now. Yes, it's still going yeah. on. So in theory, that could be a good way to go. Yeah. Um, a lot of things have changed. But I mean, it was a uh, a serious, funny look at the yeah, dramedy. Korean War. Dramedy. Yeah. So we'd have to do a dramedy. Uh-huh. And usually when everybody goes to war now, they they take it so seriously. Like, yeah. it's not funny anymore. Support the troops and lots of what you should do. Right. But we're like, America kind of is way hardcore on that at this point. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I think a show like MASH would be very hard to sell at this point where it pokes fun at the soldiers while still like honoring them at the same time. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It'd be, it'd be a hard sell for Hollywood to pull that off at this point. So I guess they're not going to ever reboot that. No, I don't no, think MASH is ever not. getting touched. Okay, so so sorry all of you people who really want to see a new version of Trapper John MD. It's just not happening. <laughs> <laughs> well, Trapper John, what, did he? Did they actually pull Trapper John out of MASH? Did they ever go back and like... No, well, there were two different spinoffs off of MASH. There was After MASH, which actually came from the show, and I think Trapper John technically spun off of the movie after the show ended because it had the I think the movie actor instead of the show actor for him oh I thought they used the same actor I don't know I I know there's some weird connection between the movie and the TV shows and all the stuff that happened afterwards 
Oh. It's very weird. Dad. Again, did not watch just working off of what I read on the internet. And as we all know, the internet will never lie to you. <laughs> right. <laughs> Maybe they just used an actor who looked like him. I don't know. It's possible. I mean, they, they recast people all the goddamn time on these things. So I mean, there are some older shows that you could reboot. You could reboot All in the Family. Yeah. But I mean, there's a lot of... They're doing a, con- con- a sequel continuation reboot of Saved by the Bell. Which they are. Which no one asked for. Because, I mean... <laughs> it's just like that meme. No one asks. Yes. This did, is what comes out of it. Didn't we say all that we needed to say by the time we got to Saved by the Bell, the college years? Like, is there really more to say about this continuity? There really isn't. No. It's nice to know that Zach became governor, though. Well, it's because he could freeze time, and he probably just planted evidence on everyone who ran against him. <laughs> He's a dirty fucking cheater is what he is. We saw him do it on the show. Freeze frame. And That's then he'll just go wander That's off. That's true. <laughs> Wow, I don't think anybody who actually did the reboot realized how bad Zach's character Zach is. Zach Morris is a raging sociopath. <laughs> I did there like is, him in Franklin and Nash, though. I thought that was... Or yeah. Franklin Bash, that's what it's called. He's, he is good in other stuff. I've seen him... There was that show no one watched about uh, female pitcher in baseball, Pitch. Okay. That was not very good. But he was good in it. He acted the shit out of what little he was given and sold his character really well. I must say, there have been a lot of um, actors who came from Saved by the Bell who actually are fairly decent. Um, And then there was the guy who played A.C. Slater who sucks. Tiffany Amber Thiessen, who was in... White Collar. White Collar. She was was amazing. Her her first season on that show was a little rocky, but she really grew into the character. And by the end of it, I really liked her. No one ever talks about the showgirls woman because she hasn't had much of a career post Saved by the Bell. I actually think she's been doing like post-production type of stuff. It would make sense. Yeah. Like you're in Hollywood and you at least know the whole process. If you can't get hired for some stuff, you go find a job doing something else. Right. Yeah. So a I lot mean, of people so, fail out of acting into executive producership. There you go. <laughs> fail up. If you're yep. going to fail, fail ha- up. You, you fail upwards in Hollywood. That's how yes, that works. Yeah, that is how it works. Yep. Um, so if you're going to reboot shows, you have to be careful about the whole, like you couldn't probably couldn't do a Samson and Sons kind of thing. You probably can't do uh, what is a, the uh, moving on up. The Jeffersons? Probably can't do the Jeffersons. Well, all of those, a lot of those that we're talking about like spun out of uh, All in the Family. Right. Yeah. And you probably can't do All in the Family because of the overall racial Yeah, I don't think a show like that. They did, a, they did on NBC like live redos of certain episodes and they did All in the Family and the Jeffersons as a couple of those. But I think they cherry picked specific episodes. Mm-hmm. And like even then there was a lot of mugging for the camera and trying to like play off the political nature of whatever it was they were doing. I just, I don't think that those kinds of shows work now, not on basic TV. You have to go on like the pay cable channels where they are willing to do all kinds of really dumb shit and just have messages. Cause I mean, Mad Men would not be a broadcast TV show, for example, but Mad Men is fantastic. You just can't make it on like NBC, for example. If you were going to reboot like a Carol Burnett, obviously you can't use Carol Burnett. Uh huh. Um, although she would be a great person to use in our golden girls. Yes. Assassin there's, show. A, there's another one. We have a whole list. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, who is the central figure yeah, that we would Yeah, who would be a central figure that we could use? Not Rebel Wilson. I know everybody likes her, but I, I don't. I um, prefer like Anna Kendrick. I like Anna Kendrick. She's good. I think she's good. Honestly, I go out of left field for a strong actress who's willing to, who's game for doing just about anything. I'd go with Elizabeth Moss. That's a, actually, yeah, that would be great. <laughs> yeah, see? She's, she would be a good choice. Yeah, she could center any show. I mean, even if it's like sketch comedy, she can center the role itself. And then you just give her whatever material and she'll throw herself into what it. What has she done comedy wise? Not a lot. Not. A, I mean, she was on like the most comedic thing that I think she have seen her on was The West Wing. Wing, right? Which is also a, not a comedy. Not a comedy, but it had amusing moments. Yes, and she got plenty of those. Yes. Um, I think she has hosted SNL a couple times, and okay. they've been okay episodes. But everyone always says, "But she's phenomenal in it because the girl can act her way out of anything." Kate McKinnon. Oh yeah, I mean she's phen- she's phenomenal just as on her own. I mean, if you want to go with an uh, an actual comedic actress, she's top of the list right there. Right. Yeah. I mean, you have to get at least four people for the the core cast. But so if you could do for Carol Burnett, for Carol Burnett, okay, because I haven't seen Carol it. Burnett, who was the lead, and it okay. was her show. Okay. Um, and then you had uh the person who played um. Ethel, not Ethel. Um, uh, yeah. All these Ethels. I know. You, I've ruined you brought it. up Ethel. You I've ruined, ruined it for it. me. <laughs> um, the side character is Tim Conway so, and the is, other Meryl character. Is that character. the show we're launching, My Three Ethels? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. 
Uh, yes, that's that's exactly what we're gonna love. So, for my three Ethels, I would put in uh, Elizabeth Moss, Kate McKinnon, and, and then, Andrew Kendrick. Is and, that what you're saying? And Anna Kendrick. There you go. There you be go. all there three Ethels. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. <laughs> my three Ethels. <laughs> it's a, it's a stage comedy set. So. That's a minimalist sets. Not uh-huh. a whole lot, just like maybe single backdrops, and you just kind of let them act as if they're acting to the audience. And I, I think it would work. It, it probably it would, would work. I think it would work. We'd actually probably be able to sell that to Hollywood. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> get all three of them to sign off on this and just do it. I think it'd be great touring production. So if you did something like that, <laughs> there you go. We've we've now rebooted a handful of shows. <laughs> I personally think, you know, we might actually get some Emmys with the three Um, (laughs) That they will never find a flaw with the acting. (laughs) Um, You know, if you did the... The thing is, if we did a show starring just Kate McKinnon, I think it'd be phenomenal. Although I have to admit, she's weird enough. I'd be afraid it would go from like something really good to like the Dana Carvey show. Because it would just go oh, yeah. really bit. Re- she, she she's phenomenal, but she's willing to do some whacked out shit. Melissa, m- 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 yeah, her, <laughs> uh, Melissa McCarthy. <laughs> she would be a good stand-in for well, yeah. Robert. Yeah. I mean, but she's get cast in everything. Yeah, I mean, she, she's a go-to for a lot of people. If you say c- comedic actress, mm-hmm. you know, Golden Girls. If we do it as a movie, another actress you could get who's on in years at this point because her her big height of uh, careers was like mid 90s sandra bullock there you go yeah Yeah. she's she's always looking for a a, a new vehicle to like take over and she's a powerful actress that can probably get something like that made her centering like a weird golden girls assassin agency that seems right (laughs) up her alley i could see that yeah yeah nice (laughs) anyway okay I think we've talked this out. So reboots of those shows. Yeah, yeah. I think we're good. But the winner is My Three Ethels. <laughs> my Three Ethels. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Which isn't really a reboot, but kind of no, a, an no, offshoot I'd of watch a thought. It. I'd yeah. watch it. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this has been Reboot with Not So Life from Asteroid G. I'm Mike Finkelstein. And I'm Queen Bee. And we will see you next time.